Hello, this is Vince from Sniper Day Trading, and I've got a chart of uh, the S&P 500 behind me. I'm going to show you that now. And this is the night trading, and I've got uh, a, one of the indicators that I use up on the screen, and I use actually two indicators underneath the price. I use a few things, um, use some moving averages, and I do use a few other things on top of the price which confirms um, the signals uh, as they're given to me. Uh, it's pretty much drawn, all drawn out in the uh, trading manual and it's very clearly defined. Uh, when you have um, decent price action where the prices are moving, uh, it's pretty difficult to trade um, any way you look at it. Uh, prices are stuck in a real tiny narrow range. Um, many times I often do it anyway. Uh, trading at the worst time of the day, kind of like today as I started a little bit late. But anyway, these are the signals. Um, just uh, They're pretty much the raw signals. Some of them, um, well, basically this when we cross underneath this green line, that's a signal short. And when we cross above the green line here, that's a buy signal. Now this is not the time frame that I use. This is um, something in between the two smaller time frames. I look at three different time frame charts and that's all combined in the manual and with uh, in combination with the method. So the kind of conditions depend on what you're trading and how you're trading it. Um, but again it's clearly defined. It gives you a set of rules to follow and set of conditions to look for and you follow those conditions, follow those rules and you should be able to get a few points uh, for the day. Uh, two to four points is what I usually look for and I usually have a four point uh, stop out for the day. So if I go minus four points for the day I'm going to stop trading. That's that's all there is to it. So those are the signals. You can take a look at them. You just kind of buzz through here. Again, uh, when you combine the method with uh, you know just basically some of these signals here gives you an idea of where to go long, where to go short. Um, like I said, you only need a couple of these trades in here. Here, this was after the open. This was a very good trade long. This was a very good trade short. So you can capture one or two points in here, one or two points in there. There's four points, which is double um, the minimum two points, and you could be done for the day in just 15 minutes. So you can see the signals are clearly defined there. Um, here, there's a counter trend trade and there's all those um, parameters are given in, in the trading manual uh, if and when you are to trade or want to trade counter trend this right here is a counter trend trade this again is trading with a trend don't have to take counter trend trades when you're trading in a strong downtrending market you can just skip this trade and then just take this one skip this trade and then just take the next one as you can see you're going to get limited upside in a counter trend trading environment. Um, these were some of the trades I took. So these are just the signals. Some of the trades are good. Now I'm going to show you three bad trades, actually two bad trades in one little patch right here, and then another little section of bad trades. Uh, had I not, had I followed my own method in those two areas, could have had nearly a perfect day on all these trades. So you can see there's just some small. Uh, scalp trades in here. Um, again, small. This is the start of the bad patch in here. I could see trying to get back long in here, but these two trades, really, I had no business when combined with the other conditions of the method. They would have told me no, uh, if, if, if anything, short. Um, this trade's fine. This trade's fine. This trade, mm, not good. These are the three other bad trades that uh, this you can see there's, I mean, it's just as far as the signal is concerned, there's nothing in here to say go long. But again, um, none of the other method, uh, of none of the other parts of my method said to go long either. So when you don't do the right thing, the right thing does not happen. That's all there is to it. Uh, this was a good trade. I kind of rode that out. That trade at the top there was okay. Um, just got stopped out with three ticks. This trade was good. Um, no follow through. I was expecting just a couple more ticks, but closed it out quickly here and then went long. That trade was good. And see the last few trades there of the day were good. And that was it. So I um, hope that helps. Uh, if you have any questions, Vince Sniper Day Trading.